Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now in this video, we're going to build an application that retrieves data from MySQL database using the Zamp server and loads them into the Android Recycler view just like this. Now once you click on an item, it's supposed to take you to an, a detailed activity of the same product. Now if you're new, hello, my name is Walter and I make reliable programming tutorials. So to get started, just hit the subscribe button and remember to hit the notifications bell so you can be reminded once I upload videos like this. So let's just get started. So here I am in my Zamp server. So I just created a new table inside my Android database that we had just created in the previous videos. And he is, he is an, uh, a very interesting column. So this is an image and it's just made of text. So what I've put here is a link that points to images that I have stored in my local database. So if I go to Android images, then I'm supposed to be finding the galaxy.png. Now to navigate there, you just navigate to exactly where you've just uh, downloaded your Zamp and htdocs and admin so i have a, an images folder right here and here i have all of the images that i'm going to fetch from my database to the android application so the link is from android to images then you get the exact image that you want so but the first param the, the first uh, parameter i've included is the machine's IP address. Now to get this, you can just go to SMD and put there the IP config and get this. Then you can just uh, put the link to point to the images that uh, you've wanted. Now, the first thing that uh, is you are supposed to write, of course, is the PHP file. Now I have my PHP file also stored on HDocs just inside Android and I have getproducts.php. So it's a very simple file and it's the one that gets me or fetches all those products uh, from my Android application. So here it is. You can just post the screen and have a look at it yourself. So in my Android application, uh, this is the exact activity that I'm going to be calling at uh, the PHP script from. So the first thing that I require, of course, is the link to the PHP file that is stored inside my Android. In my Android folder in the PHP HD docs. So I'm going to write a link here. Final string. And of course, the next uh, here is uh, the machine's IP address. So I'm just going to launch my command from the window. And input the command IP config. So the only point of interest here is the IP address version 4. So you can just copy this. And I'll paste it right there. Then Android. And I have get products. A PHP file. Okay. So the next thing you're going to write is the method that you're going to uh, be fetching everything from. So this is the get products method. And we initialize our string request here. So the first thing that you're going to to uh, put here as a as a parameter is the method, and that is get. Then we are going to pass in the base URL that we've just written. Then the next is just the uh, the response listener. Then I can just close here and pass in an error listener here. Okay, looking good. So, good job until there. So, uh, right here we can just uh, write a toast message. This is the home activity. And pass in the error uh, to string. And you can make this long. Then we show this toast message.
Okay, inside here, we can just uh, include a try and catch method. Okay, looking good. So, of course, the first thing that we want to do uh, is to initialize a JSON array. Let's just call it array. And we pass in the response from the database. And of course, we're going to add a for loop that's going to uh, loop through all the elements. And we're going to use the array length. Okay, looking good. So, right now, all we need is a JSON object. Let's just call it an object. And we pass in the array. Then we get an adjacent object and pass in the index. That is the i. Okay, looking good. Now, from here, all we need is to pass is to get all these items, the title, the price, rating, image, and the image. So this is a string variable. This is a double, and this is a double, and this is a string variable. So that's what we're going to get here. So I'm going to have the title. And this is title. Then we have the price. Oops, all right. So the price here is double, so I'm going to use double and get the price. And the next, so we have the title, the price, rating, and image. So the next is rating. So we call the object. And get a double. Okay, the rating is also double. And we get the rating. So, of course, this is wrong. We'll just correct this data type. Okay. So, the last thing we need is the image. Is a string. Then we get the string image. Okay. So now we can just uh, switch this from string to double. And this one too. Okay, looking good. So we just need to create a product object. So I have my pro uh, product class right here, my model class. You can just write your own. And it has these parameters. So the title and image are both string variables. The price is double and float is rating. Okay. So the first parameter is title. And price. Price is double. Fine. Okay. So we need a, a float value for rating. But here we have a double. So I'm just going to convert this. Right here. I'm going to use double rating. And I'm going to pass. string and that is the rate okay looking good so rate goes here it's actually the new rate oh I made a mistake all right this is float Okay, that's all right, an image. So right here, I have my list of type product. 
So I'm going to add this product inside my list. So products and I'm going to add. Okay, so I'm going to add this product right here. All right, fine, looking sharp. So the next thing right now to do is to add the adapter. So I'm going to set up my adapter. I have a, my adapter a variable right here. It's right here. So I'm going to define it right here. So the first thing that uh, it takes is the parameter, that is the home activity. And next is the list of products, and uh, that is the product. Then I'm going to set up this adapter to the recycler view. So if you're not familiar to writing a recycler view, you can just check uh, uh, my links and go there first before you come to this video. So once you've done all this, So there's one amazing feature here in the recycler view adapter and that is passing the images. So I used a glide library, it's right here, to load the images. The rest are just normal but uh, the image I just used glide. So you can just look for the glide library and then you can put it under build uh, the gradle. It's here, mine is here. So you can just get yours and put it here and then you can just sync your project and once that is done then you can come back and use it uh, for this specific case and i have an item in the list item layout that i'm using as a container for these objects and i've just set an on click listener for it so this is just inside the unbind view holder and once it's clicked then i launch a new uh, activity so these are the things that i'll be pa i'm passing or these are the kind of elements that i'm going to be passing to the other activity so now once you've, we've just set up our adapter so the next thing i want to do is to uh, run this method to get products now to navigate to my um, my xml file my activity home.xml file so i have this progress bar here that i'm supposed to be showing Right when the image, okay, when the method is actually working in background. So this is what I'm going to use right now. So already it's here defined and I'm going to place it right here. And I'm here, once this thing is done, then I'm going to hide this progress bar. Also, once I get an error, then I'm going to hide that progress bar. Okay, so right, right now here, I'm just going to add the request queue. And I'm going to pass here the context. Then I'm going to add this specific request, uh, the string request. And that is nicely done. So inside my, my recycler adapter, once this particular item is clicked, so the layout actually looks like uh, as follows. So this is how it looks like. It has a card view as the root parent and an image view. And then two text view, one for the title and another one for the price and a rating bar. So I'm using the linear layout as the container so once this linear layout is clicked then it's supposed to uh, launch to this activity so in in the detailed activity what i have is just i've just declared a new intent and i've gotten all this data that's supposed to be sent to this uh, particular activity from the previous intent and then i've set the data right right here also i've used the same same glide library to load in the images uh, that i've just uh, received from this intent so that is how to go about this. 
So once all this is done, then I can just uh, save my project. You just save everything and run. So now my project is ready. You can just go right to this activity. Okay, so as you can see, just load the images. And once I click on it, then it takes me to a detailed activity of the same same image or the product. So if you've enjoyed the video as much as I have, uh, make sure to, add a, to just leave a comment. You can also like and also share the video if 